Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Day one of our epic New Zealand road trip yes. is in the books. So yesterday we arrived at this beautiful little farmhouse with this really nice couple. We're just staying in their guest room and look at this scenery, you guys. It's absolutely Magnificent. incredible. Magnificent. Flower fields over here, huge rolling hills and mountains off in the distance. And we've got chickens, ducks, there are sheep off in the distance, two awesome kitty cats Aww, really that are the nicest cats. ever. Oh my gosh. We have made it up pretty far north in the North Island near the Bay of Islands, which is where I think we'll be headed in a bit. But first, we are gonna go try what we believe are going to be maybe the best fish and chips in all of New Zealand? Maybe. maybe? We've been trying fish and chips everywhere we go, you guys know, but uh, But yeah. everyone said you have to try the fish and chips here, and this place came highly recommended. I think it's Monagui? Mona Oh shoot, maybe I should figure out how to say it before we go there. But it is almost to the tippy top of the North Island. So we're gonna hop in our car. I think we're gonna have some incredibly beautiful scenery. It's I cannot be awesome. wait, it's gonna be magical. All right, Woo. let's go. We've made it to the town of Manganui. Is that how you say it? That's what yes. I'm going with. But that drive was absolutely incredible. The scenery is really interesting because it's a mostly kind of wooded forest land, but it also has a lot of ferns and it kind of looks jungle-like, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, it's like a tropical forest vibe. Yeah, it's like a mix unique. of the two, yeah. which is very cool. But some just insane scenery. Very winding though, so uh, make sure you oh, remember yeah. your Dramamine or ginger or something. Yes, you I, get in trouble. I did actually fall asleep for a minute on the road. It kind of like rocks me to sleep. But anyways, we've arrived at the fish and chips place. We are about to eat. Oh, we're going to eat so much. Order has been placed. We are lucky number 50. Now we're just sitting outside waiting. This place is amazing. It overlooks the water here. It's somewhat open air, so you get a breeze, but I think if it were to rain, there's a roof on it, so we wouldn't get wet. It's very nice. It's actually almost a little cool yeah, in the a little bit. shade here, but luckily we found a nice sunny spot. I'm very excited for what we ordered. We are trying some fish types that we've never had before, I believe. Fish and chips have arrived. The moment of truth. Oh my gosh, it looks and smells amazing. Yeah, they actually look really delicious. Yeah. So we've got two different kinds of fish here. One is lemon fish, which we found out is actually shark. We've only had fermented shark and that was awful. So I'm hoping today will be much better. I think it's gonna be a bit better. Yep. And then we also have a fish over here called Hapuku, H-A-P-U-K-U, which we'd never heard of, nope, but, but it looks really good. Yeah, it's the catch of the day. They were, yeah, super freshly fried, came right out of the fryer, straight to our plates here. Mm -hmm. We have two different kinds of chips right here, just your standard thick cut chips. And then these ones are uh, kum Kumaru? Kumara. Kumara. Kumara? Yeah. Well, Obviously, we're pronouncing it pretty poorly because I had to tell um, our lady about three times that we wanted Kumara chips, and and then somebody else had to step in and help her. So I don't, I apologize because I guess we are yeah, butchering. When that. she said it back to us, it sounded like what we were saying, but yeah. she just could not understand but our accent. Basically, it's the New Zealand version of a sweet potato. So sweet potato fries, thick cut fries. They had all sorts of. You could do wedges, you could do skinny fries, but these sounded the best to us. So this is the lemon fish or the shark. That's what I'm most excited to try. You can see it's really golden, glistening in the sun. See little flecks of salt on there, so you know it's gonna be nice and flavorful. Check that out. Oh yeah, it's super juicy and moist on the inside. It is a bit on the thick side, but looks really tasty. Probably too big of a bite as usual, but yeah, that's all right. That's how you do. Oh, it's a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very hot, but it is also really delicious. It uh has kind of a tanginess to it and it's not, I thought it was gonna be a bit 
uh, harder like that tuna that we had in um, Hawaii recently, but it just kind of crumbles in your mouth. It's creamy, it's juicy, salty. I was kind of surprised with how thin the batter was because a lot of times we get fish and chips and the batter can be like twice this thick, um, which is also delicious. But this is cool because the fish is really the star here and the fish is really tasty, super flavorful. I haven't even put my vinegar on there or dipped it in the sauce. Kiwi tartar sauce. Yeah. I am going to try the hapuku. I'm, oh, well, I guess I'll try it in tartar sauce then. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign. Ugh. Oh yeah, that looks nice and creamy in there. Oh, it's so freshly fried. It's still really hot. I'll blow on mine, unlike Eric. Oh, mm, that is really, really good. That might be some of the best fish. I've ever tasted. Dang. It's super flavorful on its own. It's like, of course, a little bit fishy, but really meaty and hearty and nice, but it's buttery at the same time. So we tried this once before, but it was in a hongi, so it was kind of baked. This is deep fried. I think it's gonna be super delicious. Oh yeah. It's really like a more starchy sweet potato. So you get the sweetness, but it's got a lot of, uh, I guess, meat to it. I really like it. It's not overly sweet. It is like a sweetened potato. Is it uh, more crunchy or is it a bit mu mushy? It is a little mushy. It's got a little crunch on the outside, but it's definitely mushier than the chips are, the classic chips. Ashley got these giant fries over here. What kind were these? Yeah, they said that they're beer batter thick chips. Wow, so, they look really good. Yeah, they're delicious, and the potato inside is so soft. And then Josh went the opposite end of the spectrum with the skinny fries. <laughs> yeah, and I did have fish as well, but it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> now we have the difficult task of eating all the fish and all the chips. Are you and ready? And we do it. I think yeah, we can do it. Of course we can do it. So you've had fish and chips in Scotland, Ireland, England, Alaska, Hawaii, Alaska. Hawaii. <laughs> How do these compare? I mean, they were Top notch, I would say. Yeah. Well, I would say the the ones we had in Scotland, we thought were that was some of the best seafood we've ever had. This was probably on par with that. Yeah, I'd I'd say, say the fish was maybe some of the best. The chips yeah. were good, but altogether it was amazing. Yeah, I would say the fish was the star. Some places yeah. the batter is the star. Some places have really good uh, chips. Yeah. But the fish itself, which is the most important ingredient, oh, was the best. So good, so fresh. We had a lovely little stroll through the town. Got some much needed coffee. Mm -hmm. We actually stopped in the little, uh, they had a little tourist office and they told us about this lookout that was just like half a mile away. So that's where we're going right now. Yeah, I think it's just over this hill. It looks like from town there was a bald hill with epic views. So that's what we're hoping for. have enjoyed the north, but now we're gonna head back a little bit south to a place called, or an area called the Mermaid Pools. Apparently they're really beautiful, clear pools. Uh, I think right on the beach. So we're gonna go try to find those and see if they are as magical in person as they sound. We made it. Man, those roads are windy, you Ooh, guys. Ooh, yeah, it's Ooh, really, really, like, lots of switchbacks. Yeah. We managed to not get too car sick, but man, it is just like left and right, <laughs> left and right. It's crazy, but, but it's beautiful. Yeah, so the mermaid pools that we told you about earlier should be somewhere over here. We're not exactly sure, maybe I over think there. over there. Yeah, so I think we're gonna head that direction, see if we can find them. Yeah, it doesn't look too crazy busy out here. We found a parking spot really easily, so fingers crossed, they're beautiful, and the water, or the tides are just right. So it looks like we have to climb over this hill and on the other side the pools await us. At least that's what this other person said that actually asked. Hopefully they weren't just messing with us. So yeah, it is a bit steep going up. It's not even that hard of a climb, it's just that the dirt is so loose. It's just a bunch of this stuff. I'm having flashbacks to our Hawaii hike. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad it's not raining at least. Well, no. This is falling up. 
my gosh. <laughs> We found the pools right there. They're pretty spectacular, but they're pretty difficult to get to. You've got to go through all this treacherous rock face, but I think we're going to be pretty much the only people here. Pretty cool. I spoke too soon. We turned a corner and here are all the people. <laughs> we found them. <laughs> we were hoping to get a cool shot here. I think what we're going to go for is there's kind of a lot of people around, but if you get a spot like this, you can get a cool shot with nobody there. So I think I'm going to stand up here. Allison's going to get in this pool and then we're going to take a shot from here. And if it turns out good, I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> and if not, then you'll never see it. <laughs> it better turn out good. We hiked a long way and it's going to be cold. That'll be fun. It pretty cold? It's a little cold, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and it's windy outside. I don't really actually want to get out of the water. I'm scared. Yeah, when the sun comes out, it's great, but it's been overcast for a while. <laughs> but uh, so when the tide comes up, these, fool these pools all fill up. And then now the tide's gone out, now you just have a bunch of pools to swim in, and the water's crystal clear. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very cool. Although it's covered with all this greenery that if you step on it, it's pretty slick. <laughs> and there are little crabs that we've seen down there, so they'll yeah. pinch you. Watch out. <laughs> We are back and we are starting to grill up a storm. I don't think anybody quite knows how to grill though, so we're hoping this works out. We're doing our it's, best. It's smelling good and looking oh, yeah. like things are cooking. I'm feeling the vibes. <laughs> we've got this beautiful sitting area here. We've got the grill going. We've got some 90s pop going on. we got Thanks kitty cats Josh. hanging out. Look at yeah. lady this cats. cat over here just stares at us and rolls around. He wants us to go over there and pet him. He won't come over here. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much perfect and it's cooled down a lot. Oh. I just maybe need to take a shower because I'm covered in the goo from the little pools. <laughs> Dinner is served. It was mostly Josh's doing. And yeah. Allison. And Allison, yeah. yes. I, I put things on the grill and she grilled them. She prepped, she prepped <laughs> everything. And well, then we'll have to see tomorrow if we all survive the evening. Well, we've got some delicious looking vegetables here. We've got some corn and some sausages that we've cooked up. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good. But I think we are going to leave you guys here while we indulge in this delicious barbecue. Yeah, tomorrow we are going to go hopefully swim with some dolphins. Something that we have never done yeah, before. We've always wanted to do, but it's just never happened. Yeah. But it's, tomorrow, it's going to happen. Oh my god, it's a super early day though, so we got to get out of here. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>